Brooklyn Decker. Brooklyn Decker. Oh, that Brooklyn Decker. Yeah. Oh. About the only thing Andy Roddick could do right. Mm -hmm. the, the thing we weren't expecting was the terrible box office returns mm. on this film. Yeah, what do you expect? <laughs> Terra Nova? The complete series, is the series over? <laughs> the Has it been canned? The series is over now. So it lasted what, one year? Yes. About 13 episodes. I think I saw one or two. And then I gave up for some reason. This wasn't the Spielberg produced thing, was it? I think it was. Was it a TNT or something? Fox. 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 Too expensive. It sure looked it. I didn't think that was going to last. It may look uh, interesting, but that was. This wasn't Wiley in this, was it? Noah Wiley from Ur. No. Somebody was in it, but not him. He's in some other show, I guess. Falling Skies. Oh, that's it, Falling Skies. Oh. Gotcha. Another one I'm not watching. <laughs> but it's apparently good. So. But this is the complete series, then. Oh. oh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. This was the Battle of the Chainsaws as Dennis Hopper had a chainsaw. Was battling Leatherface. I hope this is, there was an uncut version of this around. I hope this is on here. Is this the Toby Hooper directed one? Yes. Where the opening scene or one of them is some kid gets his head like... In a car. Yes. Yeah, okay. Car chase, yeah. In the 80s. The complete Hammer House of Horror. What's this, in it? This is a series that was in a British series. Mm -hmm. Never saw it over here. I believe uh, Peter Cushing is in it. And it's from the early 80s. Well, you can't say Hammer without saying Cushing. No. You can't do it. Oh no. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Is that Harvey Corman? Holy crap. Now, this, I'm so glad I didn't see this. I cannot picture, first of all, Harvey Corman <laughs> acting. But, <laughs> but he acted. But he acted, I guess, okay. There's a question to be asked here, though, Dave. Well, and that is? Two giants of comedy portray two giants of comedy. <laughs> I don't think we have four giants of comedy represented here. <laughs> no, now, Abbott so. and Costello, are they giants of comedy? I, believe, I personally believe they are giants of comedy. Is uh, Abbott a, a giant of comedy, or is he a straight man? Well, Ed, there is room for the straight man. A lot of times, the, the the comedian can't get the job done without the proper straight man with the right timing, the right words, the right reaction. So I'm going to say giant of comedy. Buddy Hackett and Harvey Corman. No, Giants no, of comedy? No. No. <laughs> Anyone that plays a seagull in an animated film is not a giant of comedy. <laughs> and Harvey Corman only even mentioned as a comedian because of Carol Burnett. Did Bud Abbott have a toupee? <laughs> <laughs> I don't well, think so. Because Harvey Corman does in well, the series needs one. here. Well, I don't know. I don't know about that. But I, uh, I enjoy the uh, early day comedian, so I will always err on the side of the comedian as a uh, the early day comedian. As yeah. A giant. Of the genre. That was a 70s TV movie, which I can't recall uh, seeing. But I, I. I like watching those 70s TV movies now because a lot of character actors turn up. And the films are bad. Giants or not of comedy. Right. Two giants of comedy. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What do you got next, Ed? Come on. Let's keep this show hopping. We have got deaths. Recent oh. deaths. This is going to be a lengthy... Uh... Uh, it wasn't lengthy, but most of them came on, on the one day there. All right. Let's see, oh, Phyllis Diller. <laughs> that was one of them, too. <laughs> I you love see, the, the animated one. It's good. <laughs> That's the Mad Monster Party. Yep. She wasn't uh, too bad looking, sort of on the left. And then she, she was the first one with all the facelifts hmm. before Joan Rivers <laughs> and fright wigs. <laughs> <laughs> William Wyndon, oh. yes, I remember. He died the same day, I think. Yeah, that was enough. There was four that one day. He's a fine character actor. Most people would not know the name, but would know the face. Apparently, um, was on Star Trek there. Mm -hmm. with the, and it, every episode of the of the '70s TV was covered. He was on a Hulk episode, a Dallas. I'm Charlie's pretty Angel. Charlie's Angel. I think I saw a Knight Rider in there. <laughs> he covered every series. He worked for scale. <laughs> Bridge leap. <laughs> that's a good touch. That's like what that. it said on the 
dead people server that's, site. What bridge you got lit there? That's not the Golden Gate. That's or the Brooklyn. bridge, whichever bridge. one he Is was, it? apparently. Okay. He always um, liked to wear a red cap. He did. And I was comparing pictures. I was hoping it wasn't the same red hat throughout his entire career, <laughs> but it, apparently it wasn't. Over, often overshadowed by his brother, Ridley. Yes. Tom Cruise. Top Gun, right? Thunder. And Daisy, that's right. Top, top Gun and Daisy. Yeah. Phyllis Thaxter. Now there's an actress I have no idea who that is. <laughs> no, uh, of course she was in the 30s, 40s, I mm. don't know. Of course, best known by the film on the right, Dave. Uh, which, would that be Superman? That's the Christopher Reeve Superman, where she played Ma Kent there. Speaking of Christopher Reeve, I recently saw uh, Somewhere in Time. Remember that film yeah. he was in? And I, I remember originally actually enjoying that film, but <laughs> when I watched it, I realized Christopher Reeve could not act for crap. <laughs> oh, no, Dave. He's horrible. Oh, he's a fine actor. No, no. <laughs> he made a good Superman, though, hey, which Superman. you never saw. I did see that. You did? Yeah, I did. But go back, someone. Watch that somewhere in time. And please tell me. Tell me what of what paper bag could he possibly act and get out of. He couldn't. Huh. Horrible. I, I remember you liked that film enough to spoof it. I probably in did. In one of our old... Do you remember the sketch we I did? Don't. I don't know if you were in it. Somebody was on the couch pretending to... Go back. <laughs> to make out. Oh, and you uh, saw the back of their hands. Of course, oh. the old gag here, you know... We're, where it looks like you're making out. You can't mention who, who, who did that. I know who did it. Yeah, I think it was one of our co-stars, right, right at the time. Could ruin his current career <laughs> if it's mentioned. But I remember the camera panned down from a painting and you had the music from somewhere in time. It's about the only good thing about the film was the, was the music. Yes. God, he can't act. Oh, where did you see that? I, oh, seen I that don't know. I don't know what... I don't know what channel I was flipping through and there it was listed. And I said, let me check this out. And I just remember sitting there going, you know, I remember, I, I enjoyed this film. Mm -hmm. So I watched it for about 10 minutes and I, I found myself sitting there like this. <laughs> well, it was 1981. Uh, around there, 79, 80, something like that. It was but a anyway. time, time travel movie where he looked at a penny. And was... <laughs> the penny brought him back oh, yeah. to the current day. Yes. Oh, it was just a crappy film. Well, very romantic. Marvin. Now tell me, on the left, mm -hmm. he does not look like he's 88. <laughs> I think something happened. It was respiratory, I guess. But he, there was pictures of him very young, very thin, mm -hmm. and he got bigger throughout the years. And then all of a sudden, this older, recent picture where he dropped a lot of weight. Mm. So something was ill in him. Ill in him? <laughs> Ill. Ill in him or ill in him? I don't know. Oh no, oh, boy, <laughs> Carlo Rambaldi, he of the fake, well, the real King Kong, when you think about it. The giant 40 foot Kong there, looks like it's being constructed over there. Of course, he did E.T. and also the heads. We always knew that H.R. Giger did the, did, did the designs for the alien, <laughs> but uh, Carlo Rambaldi did the mechanics on mm -hmm. the head. Very talented. I don't, oh, we also did Close Encounters, but after that, I don't know. Oh, this was shocking. It was. There's one of those 63 heart attacks. Mm. He had his heart ripped out by Freddy in one of the... Uh... That was Jason. Oh, Jason, I mean, yes, in the Friday the 13th. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was surprised when they, I read that he was found by his longtime companion, and then I thought, well, geez, maybe I'm not that surprised. <laughs> Especially from this one picture, but uh, oh. Oh. <laughs> just like George Jefferson, these 70s actors, it was never uncovered. It was kept quiet. Now that's mm. Hedges, and uh, was it Mr. Woodman in the middle there? Yeah. And the whole back row, dead. <laughs> Who knew that two sweat hogs would go before Gabe Kaplan? Yeah. <laughs> I think even Mr. Woodman was in the running. <laughs> don't, I got news for you. I don't think Gabe Kaplan is that much older than these guys. <laughs> Probably not. He's only like three or four years older. <laughs> of course, you can find him on a poker now, playing poker for, for big bucks. Recent oh. celebrity passing. Gosh. Why we get such joy out of making comments about the, those who have passed is beyond me. I don't understand. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see, we got uh, 10 minutes left in the show. We had something with Lelac, but I think we'll hold that till she comes down here. All right, so she can comment. Let's look uh, throughout the uh, list of materials here. Oh, okay, here we go. Oh, there you go. 
<laughs> There's always something. Something here. on the floor you can do. You can